for joining me today on a cup of tea with Lonnie B, bitch. Okay, let's get into my top three. All right, yes. So look, a con man. Yes, bitch, they still exist. Yes, the fuck they do, bitch. A con man. Let me get my literature together, girl. Let me get my literature together. A con man, okay, scammed a woman he met on Match.com, bitch, and convincing her to hand over $80,000 after dating her for only a week, bitch. Air conditioned, bitch. How the fuck you get $80,000 out of a bitch, bitch, and you only known her for a week? I can't even get fifteen dollars out of my mother and I known her all my life. Bitch, no, for real. We need some self-esteem conventions going on. For real, we need some self-esteem conventions. No, I'm serious. All right, let's get into this literature, bitch, okay, because the tea is hot. We got to sip it, bitch, okay? One sip at a time. Give me a minute. Mm-hmm, mm, 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 mm. I don't know if I need tea or air condition. Okay, so look. Mm-hmm. A con man, bitch, over in Georgia. Thank you, bitch. It's a lot going over in Georgia, bitch. Rappers, gays, a lot. Okay? A con man over in Georgia, all right, is being accused of convincing a woman he met on Match.com to marry him in less than a week and scamming her out of 80 thousand fucking dollars. Now, get this, bitch. The police is looking for him. He's on the run, girl. Bitch, he's on a fucking run, bitch. He got his sneakers on and he is gone, bitch. Okay, Jackie fucking Robinson. He is gone. Bitch, for real. The police is looking for him, y'all, so y'all be careful. Okay, he identifies as a 35-year-old man, John Martin Hill, bitch. Run if you see him. Air condition. He's scamming bitches. Okay, he on the run right now. All right? So look, bitch. His charge is being theft by deception. Yes, bitch, after he reportedly posed as a millionaire and told the victim that he wanted to buy a house with her after only dating her for a week. So this motherfucker posed as a millionaire, y'all. If you a motherfucking millionaire, why am I giving you $80,000, bitch? You need to go in your little wallet, bitch, okay? Your pockets, okay? And use your little loose change and get this house, millionaire. I don't understand that. Oh, yeah. Let's get back into this literature, bitch, okay? So the woman gave Hill more than $80,000 to put towards the purchase of the house after he told her that they should live together. Bitch. He said, we need to live together. Give me $80,000. And she just gave it up, bitch. Who is this woman? And where do she work? Bitch, for real. She just giving it up like that? Mm -mm -mm. Have you ever conned a woman before, Brayden? Tell the truth. Not out of money, out of booty. Do I look like Ron? Okay. <laughs> you don't, but have you ever done it before? Not just out of money, but out of booty, out of ride. Just calling a woman out of anything. No. Oh, okay. They, they've done it to me. Oh, they have? Yeah. I can believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, you're an easy pushover. I can believe, I can believe that a couple of women got over on you. I can believe that. They let you sniff it and you gave them everything. They let you sniff it and you gave them everything. <laughs> Even your old shoes. Bitch, you wear size six, you wear 13. You gave it to her. Okay? All right, so anyway. So, yeah, so this woman gave him all this money. All right? And the woman told the police that she met him on Match.com match on March the 27th. And the two met in person later that day. And since they met in person, bitch, he been robbing that woman. This is sad. He's on the run. His name again, y'all, is John Martin Hill, bitch. Look out. Seriously. All right? Air conditioned. <laughs> bitch, good morning. Look, again. So get into this, yes. Okay, let me tell you what's in my motherfucking teacup. So my good, good girlfriend over in Chicago, her name is Tamika. She got this company that she started, bitch. I think this is so fucking neat. Now, let me get this literature together, okay? The company is called Style for Kids. Now, what she do is she teach women of all races how to do little black girls' hair because everybody can't do it. She said it's a unique 
structure, okay? And you have to master it, bitch, as a good artist. Yes, the fuck you do, bitch, okay? She ain't said that, bitch. I just threw that together like that. But she said you got to know how to do these people here good. That's basically what she said, okay? Now, she's teaching, you know, Caucasian women. Anybody that's, you know what I'm saying, may um have a, you know, adopt a black little girl or it's an interracial couple. You know, she's want to teach you how to do their hair. Yes, bitch, yeah. I think that is so neat. That's a creative company. I like that because everybody can't do hair, okay? Everybody can't do hair, all right? Everybody can't do hair like the bitches in the hood do, bitch, on the front porch, bitch. Oh, get them some sunflower seeds. They will twist your shit up, bitch, like an African. Everybody can't do hair, all right? Yes, all right? So I think that's a nice company. Kudos to you, bitch. You are a thinker. Shout out to you, Tamika. Bitch, so check this out, y'all, okay? Lift. Y'all know the service Lift, bitch, that will pick you up and drop you off, give you a lift, girl. So Lift is adding a panic button, bitch, to the app. If you feel unsafe, bitch, that button will dial 911. Yes, bitch. Okay, yeah, because you know a lot of shit be happening, bitch, okay? You getting in with those freaky and weird drivers and shit. We don't know you like that. Okay, the car smell good, bitch, but you freaky. Okay? Seriously, bitch, they ask you all type of weird questions and shit, bitch. You get scared, bitch. You push that button. Thank the fuck out of you. Police will pull up beside you. Boop. Okay, tell that bitch, whoop, whoop, pull over. Bitch, pull the fuck over. Yeah, so I think that's neat, bitch. Shout out to Liv. Add the button. Uber, do it too. Everybody need to do it, bitch, because we need to feel safe. They want you to feel safe as a rider. They want you to feel safe, girl. I like that. Shout out to you, Liv. <music> bitch, here we go. This is some world news for your ass, girl. Now listen. Y'all know the cartoon author, all right? Now listen to this bitch, okay? Let me get this literature together, bitch, because it's a lot, okay? In this fucking tea, bitch. Let me get these marshmallows together, okay? So, an Alabama public television station, okay, reportedly refused to air author episodes featuring same-sex marriage, bitch, cartoons, bitch. All right? So apparently one of the characters in the cartoon, Arthur. Now y'all know Arthur is something that comes on PBS, okay? It's a kid's, you know what I'm saying, cartoon, okay? Supposed to be educational, okay? And apparently gay, okay? So look, so one of the, the characters in Arthur, the teacher, his name is Mr. Redburn, okay? He's marrying another man. Oh, Alabama, bitch, they wasn't having it. They, was, they wasn't having it, bitch. They said, take this off, okay? You're not doing this. Bitch, you not doing this gay shit, bitch. Not in my living room. Take this the fuck off. All right? Now, apparently, there is some parents that monitor what their kids watch, bitch. They said, we got to take a stand. We don't give a fuck if it's Arthur, bitch, or King Arthur. Bitch, we taking a stand. Get this gay shit off. Now, let me get my opinion. First of all, before I get my opinion, Braden, what do you think about that? What do you think about sitting in the living room with your child? Your little son, okay? And Arthur come on. And it's two men walking down the aisle getting married. And the pastor say, you may now kiss the group. Well, first, I would personally feel some type of way about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm on both sides. I would feel mm -hmm. some type of way about it because I grew up watching Arthur. Mm -hmm. And the character that they made, you know, Gay. Homosexual. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Ratburn, the teacher. Yeah. All them years of me, I ain't know Mr. Ratburn. Ratburn was gay. Yeah. Mm. Now all of a sudden, voila! <laughs> He's gay. So how would you feel about that? Would you be in an uproar like these people and be like, uh-uh, turn that shit off? Now it's not being played in Alabama, but it's still online at PBS. Like you can still watch it online. But you just couldn't play it in Alabama. They wasn't having it. Mm. And people feel that. Me personally, I feel like if if you're gay, sometimes I feel like you're born into it. Mm -hmm. Some people, you know, they might got molested mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, hey, you ain't saying shit. You saying a bunch of I'm not lying. saying I'm shit. In the middle. I... You would you want your kid to watch it or not? No. Okay, that's all you had to say. <laughs> that's all you had to say. Okay? That's all the fuck you had to say. I'd never get you to testify for me. Okay? 
Mm. Good question. Okay, now first and foremost, I wouldn't put my lifestyle on my child. That's number one, all right? Now, I can understand how the people in Alabama can feel the way that they feel, all right? And I can understand, you know what I'm saying, that they can be in the uproar because a lot of people have their own beliefs about being gay, you know? And everybody in the world is not gay, you know? Like you say, some people are born gay um, and some people play gay. It's the fuck they do. A lot of lesbians, a lot of lesbians, they play gay. They think it's cute. You know what I'm saying? It's a way of trying to hold on to their men. You know, so they play like they bisexual and shit just to keep this man. They play gay. And if people don't see certain things, they don't have to ask questions about it. You know, and kids ask questions like, what's that mommy? What's that mommy? And sometimes certain parents don't know how to answer those questions. So they rather not their kids see that shit so they don't have to deal with it at that moment. And I can understand. That's why I say I can understand why they don't want it on the camera. You know what I'm saying? Because kids will be like, oh, two men kissing and then go to school and start kissing little boys. And some parents don't know how to deal with that. So they won't they don't even want it visible to their kids. So I can kind of sort of understand that. You know, I don't think homosexuality is something that should be forced. You know, especially on a kid's network. I don't think that. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's happening, and right now, people don't really know how to explain it because certain people don't even understand it. And so they feel like that they're not going to let people in their household to do the explaining for them. Now, I know that could be like, well, damn, Lonnie, we're killing on TV and all. You're absolutely right. But parents have the right to let their kids view what they want them to do. That's just what I believe. And if this community come up together, apparently for them to get it shut the fuck off, it had to be a lot of people. If this community came up together and got it off, I don't see nothing wrong with that. They gonna stop me from being gay, bitch. I'm still skipping. I'm still skipping. And everybody have their right to raise their kids the way that they want to raise their kids and what they want visible in their household. Don't bother me at all. That's how I feel about it. But I can't wait to go online and see that episode. Bitch, good morning again. So look, we have a Dear Judy letter. Yes, the fuck we do. All oh, the girls are writing in. Now remember, you can write me at www.goodmorningbitch.com. All right, and you also can find the tickets to my shows of where I'm going to be at a city near you on www.goodmorningbitch.com. Now listen to this. Dear Lonnie, that's me, y'all, the gay one. Yes, I don't know how to start over from being in a bad place. Please help. Bitch, I like these letters. They getting shorter and shorter, girl, bitch, okay? Like a freak dress, okay? Like a freak dress, okay? So, how you start over from a bad place is making sure that you out of that bad environment. Now, normally, we can start over from someone, but we can still have those bad influence around us that keep us in that space, even though that someone is now gone. So you have to make sure your environment is refreshed. Because when your environment refreshed, you have a clear vision and a new way of thinking. So everything that was affecting you in your brain is now not in sight. So you can open your thinking up for a new way of thinking. Bitch, so here on a cup of tea with Lonnie B, bitch, we put out missing reports. Yes, I'm looking for these three girls. All right, I'm looking for these three girls. They go by the name of Brownstone, bitch. Okay, past the loving baby, bitch. I heard it through the grapevine, bitch. Did you hear that your Judy is looking for you? Brownstone, I would love to hear music from them again. Where is that? Okay, now you know Nikki was on R&B Diva. A lot of people didn't like Nikki. 
Okay, a lot of people didn't like Nikki. They wanted Nikki to shut up and they just want to hear Nikki sing. Okay, but I don't personally know Nikki, so I can't say nothing bad about Nikki. And even if I knew Nikki, I wouldn't say nothing bad about Nikki. I will only say how I feel about Nikki to Nikki's face. Okay, seriously. But I would love to hear Brownstone again. Yes. Where are they, bitch? All right, Google girlfriends, homeboys, haters, and pickaboo bitches, that's our show. Thank you so much for joining a cup of tea with Lonnie B, bitch. All right, if no one told you they love you today, you know your Judy or Duty loves you, girl. And condition. And remember to let no bitch upset you. Not one. Now, I'm going to leave you with this, bitch. A lot of you feel like it's over. A lot of you feel like you see no stop. But I'm here to let you know you're in is your new beginning. So start getting shit started.